Hey everybody, this is uh, Bowling Green Bikes here. I hope you can see that okay. I've been getting some requests to do a disassembly and cleaning and service of the Suntour XCT 29 inch forks. They have 100 millimeters of travel and they're not all that great at all. They're just standard uh, beginner forks, but yeah you're going to need for this is you're going to need 10 millimeter ratchet or wrench. I have both in this case but I prefer the ratchet. And then you're going to need grease if you're rebuilding and servicing and all that good shit. You're going to need a whole bunch of paper towels or rags and you're going to need the specialty tool to take the uh, top cap off which I do not have that tool so I'm using a just a pin spanner for a bottom bracket and it works just fine for me and warning you ahead of time it's gonna be really really messy and greasy so don't want to do it on your thousand dollar couch alright here we go on this there are these two bolts down here on the end you want to take your ratchet and just loosen those all the way, or you're going to take them all the way off. They may be on there pretty tight. Mine aren't because I just took these apart a little while ago. Make sure everything would go smoothly for this video. Now you take both of those off. And we're, we are done with this socket wrench until the end so that can go over there now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to carefully and slowly separate these two pieces and then you have this part we're going to set that aside I'm just going to hang it up here behind me or in front of me or wherever you want to call that and then you have this now the next step to this is you're going to want to lay this down like this and there's a little nut here it's got flat sides on it, and you just want to undo that. Make sure you're laying the stuff out accordingly into right side of the forks goes in this place, left side of the fork goes in this place, so you don't get it messed up. This is, if you're looking at it from the top, straight on like it should be on the bike, this is the left side of the fork. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take this little black thing and you're just going to take it off. Make sure that it's facing the direction that you took it off in when you put it back on. Otherwise, it won't work right and your forks will be fucked up. And then take the other side, the little nut off. If I can grab it, shit's really greasy. And then there's that nut. Put it over in your pile. Now you take, you want to take your pin spanner or your specialty tool. You want to back this off to the left. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Then you just want to back this all the way out. Put it on the according side of your parts pile. And then you can take it and push down here on that part. And then you see the spring start to come out. And you grab the spring and the spring comes out. Set that aside. We'll deal with that later. And then that just shoots out that way. Put that over there next to the spring. Repeat the same process with the other side. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm not in the best angle to view my camera at the moment because I don't have my usual camera. And you back this side out. Set that with the according parts over there. Press here again. Spring comes out. This one will be a little bit harder. There's a seal on the bottom of it. And then pop the rod out. And then now you have this. And then all of those parts over there. And excuse me for one moment while I clean off my hands. Alright, 
Now, what you're going to do here is if you're wanting to completely redo your forks, you're going to want to get all of this grease off and then completely coat it again in Park Poly Lube 1000 whatever butthole you want to call it. But that's if you're completely redoing them. I'm not completely redoing them, so I'm just like going through checking, making sure nothing's rusted, making sure the seals are good, and then lubing up the fork towers. So I'm going to start with the reassembly now. You're going to take it and in the side that you took it off on the okay on this side that side goes in there take it and that'll pop through take your nut screw the nut on it's very slow because of the grease it makes it really slippery that's on there so now you can take the spring from that side make sure you put it in the correct direction with the wider looking part down And now you take this and you screw it in. Be sure not to cross thread it because you will ruin it because it's made of plastic. And take your spanner and just snug it up pretty tight. And then repeat the same thing with your other side. Drop this in, shake it and let it fall in. Except this one, you have this plastic piece. Very careful with the plastic piece to put it on this direction. Once that's on, take your nut, screw the nut on. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. My camera died on me. <coughs> now, what we have, we have this uh, nut. It's all the way on now. So you take the spring and then you put the spring in and then repeat the same thing as you did on the other side with the top cap screw it in take your spanner tighten it up and now we're done with the reassembly for the most part next step is we're going to take everything we're just going to clean all the exposed parts off. Just take a rag and just clean them. Oh, everything's nice, shiny, free of grease and nasty, or old, dirty grease and nastiness, I should say, because it's got to be covered in grease again. But now take your fork body and inside these little seals. Stick a rag and just spin it around and clean inside the seals up on top. Just to get the dirt and the grease and everything out. Now that you've done that, take a little bit of grease, put it on your finger, put it inside and go around the seal. Make sure it's nice and lubed up. Never such a thing as too much grease. All the excess can be wiped off in the end. Now that those are greased up. You're going to want to take a bit more grease and then grease up the bottom half of your fork tower. It looks kind of gay there doing that, but it's what you got to do. Now do your other side. And just get a little bit of extra grease down on here. 
make sure you get the plastic piece. You can clean off your hand, maybe. Now take it and insert this into the, the fork towers into the fork body. And you'll get to a point where it'll stop. And then once it gets to that point, take a screwdriver, a little hook or something, and reach inside there and kind of readjust the end of the bolts with it just to line them up with the holes and then push and then they're in right there you can see them sticking out and now that you've done that you can set them down for a minute and clean your hands off completely because we're pretty much done with the greasy part and now take these nuts that you have sitting over here and it really doesn't matter which side goes where excuse me and just screw them on there hand tight both of them other side maybe You want to take your uh, socket wrench and just turn them all the way on. Get that one snug. Get this one snug. And then go back to the other one and get it tight. Same thing. And then just check them back and forth to make sure one didn't loosen the other with the tension difference, which it shouldn't. But just to be safe. Now you want another rag or paper towel. And then you're going to take it and all this extra grease, or not yet, and then you're going to take your forts and you're going to cycle them a couple times, just put weight on them. And you may want to put them on the floor and put a lot of weight on them, which is fine. And then now that those are all nice, take your rag and wipe off the extra grease around the top here. Take off all that extra grease because don't want that to collect dirt and dust. And if you have the lizard skin fork tower protectors.